here we have in the court today to watch me defend my case on if this is a kid show and why the fuck it shouldn't be underestimated by its label and only judged by its value of the entertainment it brings. Like Obama once said, let that man cook. And now I start the case with my first defense. The show Lego Monkey Kid doesn't dance around the fact that it's a power fantasy with a main character who starts as an unknown character and then becomes this destiny fulfilled child of prophecy. Like many shonens that we're already familiar with, it's no strange coincidence to see that MK, the Monkey Kid, is granted the staff of the Monkey King. With it, he bashes down enemy after foe, after adversary, even to the part where he fights his own inner demon, which is my favorite part of the story, not gonna lie. He even has a little bit of the main character being unraveled by a demon going by the name of Lady Bone Demon, who you should have stayed buried. But I'm gonna hit myself. You really don't know who the Lady Bone Demon is. The best way to describe it to somebody who hasn't seen the story is like if you went to a club and you had one good conversation with a girl and then in fact, it turns out you're now entering her house. Till you walk in and you see a swastika and a shape of a cone mask right as you enter her apartment. On the outside, screams very pleasant. On the inside, screams run away. And currently the show is on season five and has been renewed for season six, which confirms that the studio, Fly and Bart Production, is not done yet. And speaking of Fly and Bart Production, May I say the animation? Woo! This name may not lie any new bells, but trust me, after you watch the show and you give it a fair shot, you're gonna remember their name. Cause Lego Monkey Kid doesn't miss! I'll tell you what, straight up feeling like I discovered Undertale. Here lied a quiet studio that only a handful of people really knew. Then here comes a new show, out of the blue, with an animation sequence that looks like this. Compared to the shows I grew up with, with like Transformers Prime, where the animation was different, to say the least. Nowadays kids are growing up great. And the talent of the voice acting is like the dream team. If Iron Man, Captain America, Thor make the Avengers dream team, then let me show you the anime voice actor Hall of Fame dream team equivalent. For Monkey Kid who is voiced by Jack DeSenon, also known as the voice for Sokka from the Avatar Last Airbender. May, who is voiced by Stephanie Shea, the voice actor of Sailor Moon. And look, I want to put respect on every single voice actor here, but if I really took the time to mention every single voice actor, we're going to be here for a while. So I'm going to do a little speed run. Pigsy, voiced by Knuckles. Sandy, voiced by Jiren, Thorkill, Endeavor, and Kampachi Saraki. DBK, voiced by Wolverine, Orochimaru, and Spike. And my personal favorite voice actors that are in there, Johnny Young Bosch, who voices Ned Bash from Trigun and Ichigo from Bleach. You know, also, how can I forget Christopher Sabbath, who voices Azure Lion and also voices All oh, My and Vegeta. And oh, wait, am I forgetting someone else? Mm, I feel like I am. Oh, Sean Shimo, the G, Boo Boo Kong, and Goku. See, I mentioned previously that it's a power fantasy, and the key word I said was power. So the power system in the show is all about who needs the power in this specific part of the story. If MK needs to be stronger than the opponent, trust me, he will be stronger than his opponent. If MK needs to be weaker than his opponent, trust me, he's gonna be weaker than his opponent. It's a very common thing in shonen media. So if you're trying to expect something that breaks the norm, you're not gonna find it here. But if you wanna find something that you can turn off your brain, have a fun time, it's 11 minute episodes of characters who do have struggles that some people could relate to. But if you, in this court, deem it a crime that a kid's show has to have this insane level of writing for adults to enjoy then lock me up because i grew up and still watch these type of shows i'm talking shaolin showdown i'm talking bakugan beyblade metal fusion i'm talking dragon ball z and a myriad of other shows that made me who i am today so now it's up to you you are the judge the jury and the executioner whether you give the show a shot please let me know in the comments below and until next time thank you very much for watching you guys stay safe and peace